At the CTBTO's new equipment storage and maintenance facility south of Vienna, preparations are underway to transport tons of specialized equipment and supplies to a training base in Hungary. It's the last phase in a training exercise that will take surrogate inspectors out into the field and up into the skies, searching for evidence of a nuclear test. We're currently trialing a, a new system uh, which is the Intermodal Rapid Deployment System, uh, which centres itself on, based upon, um, our equipment being stored uh, for rapid outloading um, within uh, what we call pods. And they are configured to take the different technologies and all the different equipment we need for support um, within a space of a few hours uh, to an outloading centre for subshipment to our point of entry for, for the subsequent mission. On-site inspection is one of the four elements of the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty's verification regime. Once the treaty has entered into force, it will be the final tool for identifying a suspicious event. Inspection teams have just six days to deploy. Since we are dealing with amounts of uh, equipment which are above 20 tons, and with 40 people who are going to come from out of the roster of inspectors later, but from different countries, six days are really very tight uh, to arrange it. And we have to have everyone trained and ready for this moment so that he can move quickly and have everything ready and start working in the field as it's planned. For that to happen, training cycles are crucial. Surrogate inspectors need to be familiar with techniques and equipment, as well as the logistics of an inspection. After days of lectures and technology-focused hands-on sessions, the group arrives at the field camp in Hungary for a simulated inspection. Conditions are realistic. Who's checking the seal number? We've got a number of technical challenges laid out for the individual technical teams to overcome. They'll need to do that with the logistic constraints and the time constraints and the field constraints uh, that we've developed here in this training ground uh, for those inspection activities, uh, exactly as they would expect in a real OSI. The next day, field teams head out to the inspection area, a one-time site for military manoeuvres. At base camp, the communications command post buzzes with activity. We have satellite communications and we have radio communications in here. We have to keep track of all our inspectors in the field and at any given moment we have to know where our people are and what exactly they are doing in the field. And computers are set up to receive the data as they come in. What you are seeing here is nothing but a small scale uh, example of the data center of the SAMS, which is the passive seismic monitoring system of the on-site inspection team. In this particular case, the exercise is being conducted with 10 stations. To, to simulate and to provide the trainees with a, an example of what it could be in a large scale. With 55 trainees from more than 40 different countries, the exercise is also about working together effectively as a team. Here we're challenged on so many other different levels other than in the scientific. We're challenged on the intracultural level, we're challenged on the comprehension level. So I mean all of those things are challenging us in, in the best possible way. So I think it's great from a team building exercise point of view. I love that! I love that! It's good. Well, it has been fantastic. Really good, uh, very comprehensive, very intense, but Good, good. The mood is upbeat, but the training is deadly serious. No one loses sight of the ultimate goal. It's important so that when the treaty enters into force, we have trained inspectors capable of going out and performing an on-site inspection in the event of a, a questionable activity. 
On-site inspection is deterrence. 